Now today's press conference focuses on three things. Number one, Lao Li Po has been harassed, bullied, humiliated, threatened by people in Facebook, which is against Section 233 of MCMC Act 1998. That is unfair. I can show you some of the printings, yeah, some of the printing from Facebook, which should not be the case, because if anyone got some issue, you should use the legal process, not through humiliation, threatening in Facebook. It was concerning about a special fund that her ex-employer in southern China has provided her to look into the welfare of retrenched workers from the same hospital. I knew Li Po for 18 years, a very kind, honest, trustworthy person. That's why when she described to me, I felt that we need to make known to the world the real story. Yeah. You see, the amount in, involved was Malaysian ringgit, 2.24 million. In RMB, it was 3.4 million. RMB is China currency. But she had been asked to pay back RMB 7.3 million or ringgit Malaysia 4.75 million. Now, the interest rate, whatever the principal suspected party in China charge is extremely high, which we felt is not in accordance with the law of the respective country in China and Malaysia, because it is only right that we charge according to the interest rate fixed by the National Bank of the country. That is our view. So she want very much to discuss with the ex-employer, which I call principal suspected party in China, to settle amicably, but somehow rather it did not happen. The ex-employer has taken law into their own hands by engaging debt collectors or debt negotiators to come to our office here on October the 6th to demand payment of 7.3 million RMB or 4.75 million ringgit Malaysia. Because it is before the Shenzhen court in China, so Lipo felt that it would be very good to wait for the court decision. Whatever court decide, to abide by that decision. I thought that is a good citizen, to abide by the decision of the court. But do not take law into their own hands by harassing in Facebook. A lot. Yeah? You can see a lot. I've got lots of printing. Got a whole file there. Got a whole file there. So they form. Lipo reserved the right, the legal right, to seek for legal redress, particularly defamation, particularly threatening, humiliation. She reserved that legal right. She did not make any statement since October 10. Because of October 10, they launched a cyber war, cyber attack against her. She kept very cool, very calm. She launched a police report, and the police now are investigating. Now, detail we cannot review because it's under police investigation. I'd like to conclude in this way. We would like to advise members of the public to be fully aware of law governing cyberbullying and criminal intimidation, 
Cyberbullying, maximum fine, lima puluh ribu deh. Bukan lima ribu atau bukan lima ratus. Fifty thousand. We ask everybody to stay away from this cowardice criminal offense. There is law in the country. We need to look or respect the law of the country. And we also urge the principal party in China to respect the law in China. Wait for court final decision. Now this is a very good saying which I like to read to you. Lipo prays that the truth shall be revealed so that justice is seen to be done, not to wrong one's fellow men and women, so that no one shall suffer wrong unaddressed in this brutal, illegal, liberous attack. I think that is the key point. Uh, yeah, that's all.